Okay, I think we're rolling. We're rolling? Now, you gotta tell me how the hell you ever found this place and how you got started up here. Well, it all started when I came up here to uh, Earl Haneke. Earl Haneke? Earl Haneke, who lived in Wasika and had a, a studio, a photography studio. And he had a, a resort on Black Sturgeon, I think is the name of the lake, outside of Kimura. But he also had took people out here to the outposts, out on the English River. So I talked to Earl one day, and Earl said, come on out. So the next summer I came out and stayed. He had tents on wooden floors, and he had a cook shack and refrigerators. And I started, came out, and the first time I come out, he'd come in to Gosh Rock Landing and take us, show us how to get out there. And it was one man. So uh, his outpost had one man for about 20 years I went to. And then Earl sold it. And, and uh, Did you get to know any Indian maidens out there? Or no, no Indians. Okay. Never, uh, never, we never had anything to do with them for some reason or other. Uh, they were, I'd never seen them actually. What year did you uh, first come up here? I think it was the late 60s, like 68, 69. You were married in 65. Yeah. Why did you go? Yeah. Michael was born in 68. Uh, no, he was Yeah, he was. We were married in 67. He was born the next year. See, we married in 65. Right. I was 23 when he was born. Yeah, that would be about close enough. How old were you when he was conceived? <laughs> Somewhere in the same neighborhood. Okay. I don't know. I remember it was on vacation in California. Yeah, was, you were out there for our wedding. Somebody's funeral or well, wedding. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> August of '67. Uh, but uh, uh, I'll stand up funeral again. I started going in. Then, like I said, they they sold uh, one. And uh, Earl went to him and his wife got divorced, and they split up. And uh, I don't know what happened to the resort. She took over the resort. He went to Florida and. Uh, they sold the outpost to uh, Haley's. And, uh, well, they've got, Haley's has got have got his outpost. Uh, it's not. It's moved from where he was. Now they've moved around the corner and back. But uh, he was out on the main uh, one man where uh, where one man lodge is. No, he was right across from Dawshock entrance. Where okay. You go to Dawshock. But. Uh, so, you know, over the years, they took taking the kids, and when they were 12, they were able to come, and in between, we, so over the last 45 years, I've been, not every year, but last 20 years, I guess I've been here, every year, but that's how we got out here, and how we, we started all this, and then, uh, my, my son went to work for Great Lakes Airlines, and one of his buddies, uh, came out a couple of years and then another one came and uh, then his dad came and his brothers came yeah, and then again to the mother brothers and came. more friends and it ended up where now we've got all kinds of brothers and sons and fathers and, <laughs> yeah. and how did you find Fred Day? Uh, through his son Matt. I really didn't like him but no. <laughs> 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 I knew it. The, I knew key, it. <laughs> the keeper of the salt, right? Yeah, he makes me feel good. That's <laughs> right. No, no, Matt was one of Dave's buddies, and, and uh, so Matt came and brought Fred, and then they brought Aaron. They've been coming on and off for a number of years. You, you've been here, up here then, every year. Yeah, I've then their uh, their daughter's husband came. You've been up here every year I've been here. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, some of uh, Eric's and Joel's friends started coming. That's how we ended up with Kendall and Rookie. And <laughs> <laughs> old brother in laws father in So it's uh, just kind of, it comes, usually there's between 15 and 25 every year now. And the most exciting year, what was that? You got one? I think the most best year I had up here was when my my dad 
was able to come with me, and that was years ago, and uh, um, that was probably when he could come. Yeah. He only came a couple of years, and his health wouldn't allow it. So, but. And now you have to put up with two brothers, right? <laughs> oh, heaven forbid. Well, fortunately, we only have one brother this year. <laughs> yeah. And he's really, he's older than you, right? Um, a lot older? A lot older, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lot slower, older and slower, you know. Why I keep there? telling people I got the brains and the lips, the rest of them got older. <laughs> but he's got all the money. Yeah, that's what he tells me. You know. <laughs> and he thinks he's a wine connoisseur, right? <laughs> he's a wino. He's a wine oak. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I'm a, I'm a Not connoisseur a wine of two buck chuck. <laughs> two buck chuck, huh? Yeah. Okay. Except now it's two forty nine. <laughs> Inflation. Uh, now where did, where did your kids year. go? <laughs> they scram. Pat, you got any questions for the old man? <laughs> He's just shaking his head. <laughs> what did he say? He said he's got nothing, and I've heard that before. I know that. He doesn't. So how hard do your boys have to talk to you to get you to come up here, Paul? The first time. Uh, the, only the only reason I come up here is because of Bill. <laughs> I felt sorry for him because he doesn't have any friends. <laughs> And I still don't. <laughs> and he took me to South Dakota one time and made me sleep in his motor room with a bunch of dead mice. Well, you needed friends. So. And what does your daughter do for a living? Uh, manicures and pedicures. Pro probably not with her uh, on her relatives, right? Not on me, anyway. Mm. But well, now we've kind of, we might have that arranged for you with uh, Julie up here, right? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what else you want to tell this group? Because this is going to go on the internet. Heaven forbid. And it'll be on walleyecrazy.com, which has the last uh, 17 or so years of photos. Of, of, we used to come up here in, the, in August. Well, I, I, yeah, I started, when I first started, it was July and August, and, uh, and then uh, when I was waiting for for the new heart, then I came up early in spring with, with Dave, and later on with Mike, so I'd come up twice a year for a while. And, and the, real, the, the transformation from... Um, the first guy that had it to Haley's, how did that? How did that? How did you? How did you make that transfer? Well, they basically bought it out and eliminated it. So then so, you had then you had to come to Caribou Falls. And then the and then the and the Providence wouldn't allow any camping. We camped for a while, you know, on the islands. Yeah. But then the Providence or, or Canadian law uh, wouldn't allow us to camp anymore. So that's when I started coming to Haley's. I knew Gene and I knew George. I knew them from, from coming down here a few times and stuff. And man, I knew Louie and Grandma. Yeah, you know. Uh, and and Louie would have been Gene and George's father. Dad. Yeah. And Grandma is still <laughs> the best part of She's still living. Yeah. But she won't talk to me anymore because I double double skunked her in the cribbage. And she hated <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, what else do we need to know? Well, I think more than we need. We already know more than we needed to. <laughs> Mike, you got anything else? No, I, I uh, first time I came up was probably sometime in the 70s with uh, my dad and Bill and uh, Fred, I think. I don't think Tom was along. No. Yeah. Who, are, who are Fred and Tom? Uh, brothers, younger brothers, and uh, 
I don't know how long we were up here, but we the uh, we were in the uh, tent camps, wooden floors with the tent around us. We had a real good time. Then I came up in '93. My daughter and I drove back and visited my mother in Iowa, and then we came up here and we met uh, Bill and and the boys. And Fred was here too. Fred came at that time. And daughter, who was about, I don't know, 13, 14 at the time, had a great time up, up here. Diving off the she cliffs. Didn't, uh, <laughs> she didn't uh, do any fishing, but she had a great time with her cousins and jumping off the rocks, diving off the cliffs into the, into the lake. And uh, they thought she was a little crazy because she was a vegetarian at that time. And she ate rice and cream of mushroom soup, and cream of asparagus soup. But she comes by that naturally from her parent, her father, right? Comes by what naturally? You tell Being me. a little crazy. A little crazy is good. <laughs> and now Fred, Fred's gone, right? Fred's. Fred, Fred died yeah. couple, 2010. Three years ago, just about now. Yeah, about, yeah, about this time. Because we were up here when you got the messages that he was ill, right? No. We found out about that the day we left. The day you left. We found out he had a heart attack, but we had no idea how bad it was. Okay. So. And, and Tom is usually here. He had a heart attack in January, so he had some stent work done, some things, so he didn't come up this year. Yeah. Heart conditions. Kind of runs in the family. Yeah. Seemed to be hereditary. Yeah. Along with our good looks. I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do you want me to shut it off? Or you want to add something else? Nope, that's good as far as I'm concerned. I can't think of anything that's earth shattering that needs to be told. It's a good place to come. The camaraderie is great. You know, the fishing is a bonus. Uh, and the wine you're going to provide all of that next year, right? Uh, provide the same amount of wine next year as I did this year. <laughs> <laughs> One cup. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to, you know, if, if you need more, I'll turn water into wine. All right. All right. Well, I'll, I'll push the stop if you're all done. We're all done.